Hi everybody, um, it is Miss Kosh, and there are two questions, these two questions show up on the worksheet that's called Using the Unit Circle, um, and I wasn't sure that I had taught them well enough yet, so let me, I don't want to do these two for you, but I'll make up a, a new one. So let's say, um, let's say it was sine of theta is equal to negative 12 over 13, and um, uh, pi is less than theta, which is less than 3 pi over 2. Okay, so what that's telling us, this information right here lets us know what quadrant we're living in. Okay, so anytime you see them give you that sort of scenario, then you need to draw the, um, the x and y axis and then put your angle in the correct quadrant. So this is somewhere, and I don't really care if it's drawn to scale, but I know that I'm going to be in that particular quadrant where my x value is negative and my y value is also negative. So sine, um, with a problem like this, what we really have, what we're really looking at is this angle right here. But what we're going to do is just pretend that we're using this angle right here. And if we just work off of that little bitty right triangle, notice you're using the, the, um, the origin as a vertex, okay? Sometimes I see kids try and, this is wrong, don't do this. They'll draw their triangle like that. That's absolutely, don't do that, okay? Well, that was, anyway, don't do that. Um, so always draw it where it's it's like an angle on the unit circle where it's it's coming out, you know, wherever. Think think of these in terms of unit circle, and then once you have that angle where it's starting here and going that way, then you can draw in your triangle and you're good to go. Okay. Um, so it's yeah, it surprises me when I see the other, and but I see it with some frequency. Okay. So back to this problem. They're telling me sine of theta is equal to negative twelve over thirteen. Well, sine we know to be opposite, so negative 12, and the hypotenuse is 13. In these problems, always, always, always just let the hypotenuse stay positive. It will take care of itself if you consider um, what quadrant am I in, should x be positive or negative, should y be positive or negative, but if you always make the hypotenuse positive, everything will, will work out beautifully. Okay, so you might recognize that this is a triple. I did that on purpose. Um, it's not drawn to scale because this is negative 5. So it's a 5, 12, 13 um, uh, Pythagorean triple. So that's, um, if you remember our song, 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17, 7, 24, 25. Um, that helps me. I don't even have to use Pythagorean theorem. I'll do another one like this example in just a second um, and where it's not a triple. Okay, so they said find the other six trig identities. Oh, it should have been the other five. There's a total of six. Okay, so basically what we need, we know we have sine, we have cosine, we have tangent, and then the reciprocal function for sine is, um, and I'm writing it down a second time on purpose, um, sine's buddy is cosecant, cosine's buddy is secant, and tangent's buddy is cotangent. And I'm writing these down this way on purpose. So sine, I know from my triangle, it's negative 12 over 13. It's not this, this is the one you're gonna do later. Um, so, and that's what they had told me here. So if my triangle doesn't match what I have, what I expect right here, then I've got a problem. Cosecant is the reciprocal of that. So it becomes negative 13 over 12. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So negative five over 13. And therefore, secant is negative 13 over 5. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. The negative divided by the negative cancels, and it becomes a positive 12 over 5. Cotangent is its reciprocal, 5 over 12. Okay, now let's also, I'm going to make up one similar to this scenario, where they tell me, um, what quadrant was this one in? I just did one that's in, I did one in quadrant 3. This one had been in quadrant four. You'll get to go practice that. This one is in quadrant, notice this is in quadrant two. Um, I'm, so then I'll do one in, the, in, in this video. I'm going to do one in quadrant one so that you could then see kind of every scenario. So this is the one that you'll go practice in a minute. And I will say cosine of theta is equal to, what numbers do I want to use? I don't want it to be a triple let's say two over three, and um, where uh, zero is less than theta, not pi, it was less than pi over two. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, so 
I intentionally put this in quadrant one so that the two that you have to practice in a little bit plus the two that I'm doing in the video now um, give you all four quadrants. Okay, so we're in quadrant one. I'm going to draw something. I'm going to draw my angle and then turn it into a right triangle where the right angle is always touching the x-axis. Notice this right angle was touching the x-axis. That's another way to think about it. Um, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so now to find that other side, I know that 2 squared plus my y value there. I don't know y squared is equal to 3 squared. That gives me y is equal to, that's 9 minus 4 is 5, so y is equal to root 5. I don't have to do plus or minus because they're side links. Um, but I do want to consider the fact that in this quadrant, both the 2 and the root 5 should be positive. Now, you don't obviously have to write those positives, but we don't want to forget it either. Okay, so that was a tedious way to get rid of that, as I'm still working on it. Okay, so now I'm going to just write them all down. So, yes, I know you really only need five of them because um, you've already know cosine, but did you see how a second ago I wrote sine, and even though it was already here, so that I could easily get to cosecant? Um, let's do the same thing. Cosecant, that's a C pretend. Theta, secant theta, and cotangent theta. Okay, so sine of theta is root 5 over 3. Its reciprocal is 3 over root 5. Now, my general rule tends to be that in a situation like this, don't bother rationalizing the denominator. Unit circle, always rationalize the denominator. Everything else, never do. So um, anytime you see things like this, because then if I, well, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, cosine now is adjacent over hypotenuse. Secant would be the reciprocal, 3 over 2. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent, and then therefore cotangent is um, adjacent over opposite, or the reciprocal of that. Um, sometimes you'll find a scenario where, like say I had told you tangent of theta is equal to, um, I don't know, if it had been 4 over root 7. Well, if you rationalize the denominator and say, oh, that's 4 root 7 over 7, I'm totally making up numbers. And then when you go to find cotangent of theta, when you take the reciprocal of this, then you're, it's just, it's just tedious for no great purpose. Oh, you're like, oh, okay, time to rationalize the denominator. Well, now I have 7 root 7 over 4 times 7. Well, the 7s cancel out, and I just get roots. Uh, anyway, if I had just taken this part and flipped this one right here over, I would get that. Okay, that got messy, but hopefully that makes sense. So these are the, the directions said, find the other six. It should have said the other, or it should have said, I wrote it so I can correct my, my thought. Find, maybe they should have said, find all six trig identities, trig ratios, trig identities when given the following. Trig, maybe I even like ratio. Okay, I'm good, but I'm not perfect. All right, so um, go practice those two. The, my answer key should be posted, but that's what you needed to look at for that.